Hey there friends, my name is Arnold and I am Thai Burmese American and today I'm cooking an homage to my father with this Burmese egg and chickpea curry. Cumin, coriander and turmeric, onions, tomatoes, cilantro and garlic, fish sauce, salt, sugar, chicken stock or water, chickpeas and of course, the star, eggs. And then I place them into an ice water bath to let them cool. I'm gonna start by sweating off my aromatics, which means my onions and my garlic. But first I put the onions down into the pan and then I follow with the garlic. That way we get a little bit of coating from the moisture of the onions and it doesn't burn the garlic too fast. So I have two tomatoes here that I'm gonna dice. Let's do half this bunch of cilantro. I'm a big fan of cilantro stems. They're peppery and have a spicy dimension to them. Um, the leaves are a little fragile to me and they're nice and pretty for garnish, but if I really want a nice cilantro slash coriander flavor, I always include those stems into the base of my dishes. Add a little oil to this. Turn my heat down. I'm gonna add to that my cumin, coriander, and turmeric. I've actually been really excited to make this dish because in my family, my mother was known as a legendary Thai chef. My family owned a Thai restaurant and market for over 40 years in Nashville, Tennessee. And even though my mom was the chef, my father was a professor and he's the one that really fed me because we were on the same schedule. So I grew up eating his food even though my mom was cooking at the restaurant. So now that I have this all fragrant and the spices are toasted, I'm going to add my tomatoes into the pan, the fish sauce. So I'm deglazing and letting this, I'm letting the fish sauce cook out a little bit. Now, with anything salty, there should always be a contrast, so I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar to balance out that salty. I've added my chicken stock, and I have all of my beautiful spices blooming. I'm just gonna let it simmer down now. I'm gonna add some chickpeas into here. One can of chickpeas. I think it's time to add the eggs. So what this is gonna do now is these white eggs are gonna turn bright yellow. Oh my goodness. Now, if you want to thicken it up in a different way, you can. You can add a little bit of yogurt to this and make it a little creamier, or maybe some coconut milk. But I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna let it stew down slowly, keep the ingredients minimal, and the flavor punch really phenomenal. Fresh and bright and spice-filled. So much flavor, oh my God, I can't wait. So I'm keeping some of the moisture because I want it to sauce my rice. So here we have it, my Burmese egg and chickpea curry over a bed of rice. Let's do a little bit of cilantro garnish to finish this off. Look at that. Mmm. Yes, look at that. You <laughs> this is so wonderful. Wow. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of my dad. Tastes like home. <laughs>